Melissa, the M of the M and H of Bespoke Hairstyles. I hope you're well. Um, it's been a very, very busy few days, number of days. The week actually is busy um, and I'm thankful. Um, and But I wanted to quickly do this posting uh, because um, something's been bothering me and I need to share when, it, when things bother me. So, and this is the only moment I, I basically have to do this. So, um, it's about kids um, and I am seeing too many little girls um, with braids um, in their hair, with extensions in their hair or their hair permed and I'm seeing too many um, kids uh, with traction alopecia. Um, I'm more aware of it just because of um, I, I was researching into it and, and it gets suffering from it. So it just makes me nervous that if at a young age um, kiddies are already suffering from traction alopecia. What's going to happen um, in the future to their scalp and to their follicles if they're being pulled and stretched right now? Um, so I just wanted to share this. It's just a quick um, uh, posting just to say I am seeing hair um, with heavy extensions. And I'm talking about, when I talk, I talk about the under 13s um, I'm talking about. Um, I'm seeing permed hair. I'm seeing hair heavily pulled with extensions and I'm hoping that this posting is able to go out and reach some of those mums, friends, aunts to say stop, no more because there is a cost to it for every time that a child's hair is pulled and their follicle is weaker it doesn't show up now in the years to come 20 years, 15 years, 18 years, 25 years, their hormone shifts, especially with the girls, their hormone shifts, and um, that's when the hair loss shows up. Um, and, and we know this from research. So when you are having a baby and your hair is weak around certain areas and you've got traction alopecia or just hairs falling out, it's because those areas, as a little girl, were the areas that were pulled, that, they, that suffered from the pulling because we all inherit um, different types of follicles, strong and weak, and where you have hair loss probably there, um, it's just because you've inherited your mother's uh, follicle type where that area is the area that, that basically is more sensitive and is more likely, that's the first sign of your suffering from traction alopecia. It starts there and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We'll be doing a lot of postings on this topic. But just so you know, those with little children, aunties, or, uh, aunties dads, um, anyone who's touching little heads, please, please, just ease up on the extensions. Um, ease up on the chemicals that are being put on their little heads. Just work with their hair. In the future, how is that little person going to learn about how amazing and beautiful and perfect um, her hair is for her? How is she going to know it if you are covering her hair with extensions or if you're changing her curl pattern unnaturally? There is a moment where hair starts breaking or, or permed hair starts tangling as a result of chemicals and um, women are forced to stop using those chemicals. What do they do with their hair? What do they do with their hair? It even makes me think about loxing when little children have loxing their hair. I think, um, I remember meeting a, a young lady who was about 18 and she had Afro hair, natural hair. And every day I saw her, her hair never looked right. Um, and I eventually spoke to her and she said it was because, uh, well, she didn't even know I thought that about her hair. But um, it made sense. When she was a little girl, she had locks installed in her hair. And until she was about um, 17, um, she cut off the locks. And the reason why she did was because it was causing hair loss. It was long and it was causing hair loss. So she cut it off and her hair came back. But when her hair came back as Afro, she didn't know what to do with her hair because her hair had been um, locked all her life. She didn't know how to manage her hair. So I say, stop, let the children just enjoy their hair. No matter how challenging their hair is, that is the hair that they've been blessed with.
just teach them how to work with their hair. Moisture, moisture, moisture. Patience, patience, patience. Stay present in the moment and play around with their hair. And Bespoke Hairstyles exists for you. So connect with us. Let us know your challenges and let us support you into showing, teaching little ones how to enjoy their hair. I say no more extensions. I say no more covering their hair. Weave. Why is a child having weave in their hair? There is no need for that. Show them how to love their hair. So in the future, when there are not, there's nothing else they have, they just have their hair because they have to work with their hair because the weave is cutting their hair and the plaits are breaking their hair and the chemicals can't work with their scalp and they are stuck with their natural hair let them know how to style their hair and look fabulous and live their lives to the best of their abilities with their hair natural stop the perming stop the chemicals stop the um extensions on little heads please that is my message out there share 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 it's serious that's why i've got my serious face on um and do you like my bow i will put the contact details of the designer that is my little head there sleeping he was just playing up and he needed to sleep. So that's what Mel does. Puts him on a back. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Thank you for watching this posting. Bye. Ah, well. Mono Safel SK, original. Official ringer. Ada, lawyer and intimate present. Yeah, street last On va. Tout le monde est présenté, vos chansons, s'il vous plaît, voici votre Esther Blaze original à Futuring Ada. Afrique, balancez, balancez, Afrique, bougez, bougez, Afrique, balancez, balancez.